Hey guys, this is a unique one. Uh, first of all, where am I? I am at the Stanford Adolescent Young Adult Cancer Program, and I'm in their brand new, literally opened this week, innovation pop-up space. What's unique about this? Well, first of all, this is the first makerspace we are visiting that is inside a hospital, a cancer ward. Second of all, it is without a doubt the smallest makerspace we visited in this entire series. And it's not just a single makerspace. No, there's two, because this cart is a mobile makerspace that can be taken room to room. The point about this makerspace being inside this ward is specifically that it's more than about just sick kids being here. These are adolescents who are not able to go out and visit their friends, and they don't want to spend every day just or watching television. This is a space where they can come, find problems to solve, solve them, and be part of the culture of innovation of the hospital itself. It's to bring them within that culture and imbue them with this idea about problem solving. Ideas I love, and in fact, I'm going to participate with them in solving a problem right now. Gokul, where do we start? So we're going to do a really quick, like, 30-minute workshop. And in that workshop, we're going to come up with Aaron's privacy doorbell. A privacy? What's a privacy doorbell? Um, I just thought that, like, a doorbell would be nice, especially in kind of in the space of a hospital. Because, like, really when you're inside a room, um, you really don't have that much privacy. You have nurses coming in all the time to give you, like, medication. You have them checking your vitals. You have, like, doctors walking in all the time. And then it's, it's just really hard to like kind of have your own space. Or to feel like it's your space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. It's, it's always, people are always coming in and out. And I thought it would be great if you kind of control that a little bit more. It's a lovely yeah. idea. I mean, it's a really, it's, a, it's, a, it's terrific that you see the need because you feel the sense of like, you're gonna spend a lot of time in this place. You really yeah. wanna feel some control over yeah. how it flows. Okay, so how does a privacy doorbell work then? Um, I thought that like when you're inside the room, like you don't want to be walking to the door and opening it. So right. I thought it'd be great if you could just like control it from like where you're at, like whether it's, you know, if, whether you're like sitting down on the bed or if you're in a different part of the room. And then you could just, without even talking to the person at the door, just either, you know, say maybe give, give me some time or just come in right now. You want to show me what's at, where, where it's at? Um, I don't have it built right now, but then uh, what I thought was that, um, we have the little bits, like the, oh, okay. this the bunch of little modules that you could put together. Right. And then what I originally thought of was um, that when someone sounds the doorbell, it just makes noise. Let's lets you know that like someone's there. Mm -hmm. And then um, with the little bits, they have a little Bluetooth thing that you connect to with your phone um, over their um, over like an app. And then I thought, you know, like depending on the response, you can either like. Um, just tell them like go away or you know so you can put something on your phone and will it will a phrase come out of the speaker um this so, is a speaker right mm -hmm, that's the speaker and then the the part right before it yeah the part right before it over here um it has a little mp3 like file and then um okay what? so you can make it play one of several phrases mm-hmm Let's start yeah. pulling out the parts. Pots, yeah. what would be required. Um, so I guess the first thing to start with is just the power. Um, like it needs to be powered here. Um, and then there's also the battery. Oh. I got one here. Where'd it go? Oh, oh yeah, that, that one's already on right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I have this stuff, I have not played with this and now I'm like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks totally like the most fun toy I can imagine. Uh, the way it works is that like with something that you can communicate to or yeah. something that like you, like a button that you push, like once you, um, it affects everything that comes after it. Right. So like if I have like a button over here, then like the stuff that comes after the button doesn't work until I press the button. Do you want to grab a piece, uh, a marker and just like write out the path of what we're going to put together? Uh, sure. Um, the way I originally had it thought of was just the battery. And then after the battery, um, it was the, uh, the button. That's the doorbell button? Yeah, the actual button okay. that you press. And then immediately after the button, I didn't really have... Um, yeah. Or like, <laughs> um, after the button was a buzzer. 
and then it just sounded whenever you pressed the um, button. And then I guess that was the actual doorbell part of it. Okay, so the buzzer isn't, so you're just hearing the buzzer that's happening outside the door. Mm -hmm. And then after that, um, I had it split into, uh, I guess, like the different, um, the different Bluetooth um, right. paths, and then this would be like, get out. And then this would be like, come in. And then for each of those, I just had um, the Bluetooth. Um, and then the MP3. And then finally the speaker. Oh, so each one gets its own Bluetooth module, its own MP3 module, and its own speaker module. Mm -hmm. it's, awesome. um, it's a little bit bulky, but yeah, then no, no, that no, was I like, the, I guess, the simplest way I could. It's working within it, yeah. the limitations of little mm -hmm. bits. Um, all right, so where do we begin, Aaron? Here's the button. And then, oh, excellent. Um, Okay. The buzzer. Uh, one thing I was worried about is the buzzer might not be loud enough to hear like when you're actually inside. And so, um, yeah. Is it possible to, uh, are there any extension wires that allow you to, to maybe bring this to the other side of your door? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, there are definitely extensions. Um, these are the... Yeah, something like this. Yeah, how oh, far wait, how far can this go is my question. I guess, do these just piggyback to each other? Ah, okay. <clears throat> Sweet. There we go. That's what we need. A few of those. Mm -hmm. so can you see if it better pop that like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So this snaps to what? This goes to the button. To the button? And then after the button came the uh, buzzer. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. I love <laughs> this. It's like Lego electronics. Okay, right, so that goes to that. And to the buzzer, and then after the buzzer was the, it began to split. Oh, but, the, but we want a distance between this and the buzzer. Mm -hmm. Right, so we want, we want to do that guy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm totally being impatient and trying to do it all at once. There we go, <laughs> okay, so. Let's see. From there, oh wow. Yeah, so you've got your nice long throw there. It's like a necklace. <laughs> Let's see how that goes quite a while. And I guess I'll just continue it over Does here. Does that work? Wait. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Maybe one. Oh, there. this, um... It doesn't work through the splitter. You, yeah. If you plug it in through that end, then you would. Let's see. So this goes to here. Let's get these ones out of And this goes to here. Okay. And that goes to here. Oh, wrong side. Oh, this is plugged in the wrong way. The wire is going. It needs. Uh, no, it's not. Maybe it's like too long. Could no, be. it's backwards. Um, so this no. is. All right. So this goes here. Ah, I see. Wire direction. There oh. we go. Oh, hey. good. Awesome. So then we need. Oh, we need another wire. Need, oh yeah. What do we need more wire? I think she it back. Yes. Exactly. exactly. There's the second Bluetooth module, and there's your second splitter. And then each of these have a speaker. Oh, okay, so let's hear, let's scooch it this way so that they're all on the... And does anything come after the speaker? Uh, no. Okay. Great. Uh, right. I'm, there you I'm go. a little OCD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I guess that's the... So that's how do we record design. into the MP3 player? Um, we could use the computers over here, and then I think um, it has a sound recording system. Whoa. Uh, let's get to the computer then. Okay. It would be better if you came back later. <laughs> now, how vigorous do you want to be about get out? Go away. <laughs> All right. Go away. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready? Okay, ready? Go away! Because <laughs> really that's how you feel when you want people to come in. Okay, and then the first one is ready. Okay, so that one goes in the bottom of this. <laughs> Woo.
Okay. You jumped. Mm -hmm. okay. I think we have what we need. That's what it is. Okay. So go away is on the top and come back later is on the bottom. Okay. And then let's try it out. Um, which one do we want to try first? Okay. Hat trick, go away. Oh, away. <laughs> <laughs> that totally works. Oh, we have a nice, yeah. we have that's a nice box right here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's this is kind of <laughs> ideal. Because yeah. you can cut that and just fit it right over. Okay. May I, may I? I have this. I I, I I I think that what we could do is because we don't want people just to think that you've got cake cups for free outside your room. <laughs> You're gonna have too many people outside there. <laughs> You're gonna. And we go also ahead. need the button like kind of on the outside where right. someone could just like press it. <laughs> I was just thinking we could put a hole. Stick your finger in this hole, <laughs> and I promise it will be fine. <laughs> There's, there's the hole. Sweet. And then, yes, perfect. Look, you put those right on there. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So now, if you would pull up these guys. And stick the tape on the back of them. Uh-huh. Oh, I can do that. Okay, here we go. I might not be able to do that. Yeah, the small leg. Like, yeah, that the works. The shoes that, sticking out. Um, right there. Behind each one, you can battery, take which already has double stick tape on Someone it. Like that, that someone like that, low. Is it still working? It's not, but there's all sorts of stuff we could have done. Oh, on um, it's, I think it's off. There we go. Ah, I see. We'll try it now. Um, there we go. Yep. Okay, so we'll need some of this tape here to make sure that it's being held down. Very similar. There. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's put that there. Right. We put this one there and we'll cut a hole for the speaker. And we can do, oh, we can do the same thing for this one. Mm -hmm. Yep, push the, yep. This is gold. Right, so I need two more of these guys. Oh, some of them are magnetic and some oh, yeah. of them are. There's yeah, I just realized that. There's like sticky ones oh, too. that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized that some of Okay, so, right, now it's time to start putting this... Okay. Oh, right, if we could turn this around, Oops. let me cut out... Uh, this oh, there you go. <laughs> this is exactly what all of my early making was like. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, so that's the circuit, and we've got the buzzer separated, so we're mm -hmm. kind of ready to assemble. Yeah, I think so. Right? That's fantastic. There we go. There. Let's give me another chunk right there. There you go. Perfect. And you want to do a couple small pieces? Uh, I do, it. but I realize we're going to have a problem here. And it's uh, not an insignificant one. Hold that and don't let it get sticky. And this is, you're going to love this. We don't have a thing. You're going to be pushing through this box and you're going to crush it in order to oh, push the door back. So I am going to <laughs> make a little standoff here. This is uh, this is one of my favorite techniques for marking a line. I need to mark a line that's exactly along this. Mm -hmm. So I make a gauge with my fingers. Oh. Wow. And it gives me a cutting line. And I come back mostly to where I started. <laughs> it's never perfect, but... <laughs> it's good enough. Yes. Um, is that what you're Yes, it is. Oh, can I see your scissors? The bigger ones would be better. Should we get some tape on the side as well? Okay, let's pull that cup out. And Idea we were getting into such a bill. This is really fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna go there. Will that clear? Well, it'll be, it could be, no, it's actually gonna be pretty darn close. That'll do. So, yeah. Perfect. 
And then we just need to tape up this side. To tape up that side and the, and the end. There we go. And then we have the buzzer on the outside. And, wait, where's the doorbell sticker? It's right here. There you go. Doorbell. <laughs> doorbell. <laughs> We're almost ready to stick this on the door. So, uh, this is your doorbell. Mm -hmm. It still, it still works. Mm -hmm. Let's get this on the door, and we'll bring the double stick tape over there. Okay. Hello. Did it work? Yeah, it works. Okay. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've given it a good go away sound. Do you want to play the go away sound? Oh sure. Yeah, you should hear how this works. So they push a doorbell. Go ahead and push, and you'll hear that. Okay. And then go away. <laughs> That's as loud as we could get it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not very. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to do to go. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. All right. Let's uh, let's get this on the door. And then I guess I'll show her. Yeah. The phone. Absolutely. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm um, just over here. Yes. With the button, you choose which one you want. Either to go away or come back later, and then depending on which one you choose, then you just press the button and. I know it's quite aggressive. <laughs> we tried to be polite about it. Here. All right, I'm going to install this on the yeah. other side here. All right. Okay. Need one piece of double stick for this. It's through here. It works. Okay. It actually works. Like the wires don't shear on the door. Sure. So oh. are you ready for a test? Sure. Okay, here we go. I'm going to ring the doorbell. <laughs> oh, I thought they were going to do it. That's a successful test. <laughs> totally worked. That was brilliant. It, I heard go away. Thank you. Thank you for letting us test on your door, and now I guess I'll go away. <laughs> that was really, that was seriously a real project. And by real, I mean, like, we had an idea. It was Aaron's idea for a privacy doorbell. It's a great idea. It answers a need he specifically experienced in this hospital. And then together, in this space, we came up with a solution, at least a working prototype for a solution in less than 30 minutes. Uh, that is, it's the best. It's what's making this all about. And I'm actually, I'm not just cleaning up for camera. I'm cleaning up because I love cleaning up at the end of a project. Oh, but you can, I guess, go. You don't have to stick around and watch this whole thing. Thanks for joining us.